Okay guys, it's me, Chris Barrows, I'm here and I want to talk to you about something I've been trying to do for a while. I've been working with uh, Unity and the Z camera, I think I talked to you about that before, and it's a depth camera, but one of the nice things that it, that it can do is uh, it, it, it tracks itself, so it's actually like a motion control camera. So here, so here I'm going to show you a couple of things here. So here on the uh, Unity uh, computer, okay, you can see that I have uh, this scene set up. It's on, it's on a green screen stage. The lighting is not good. There's lots of shadows and stuff and things, and, but that's that's an issue. Okay, so um, I've got this. Uh, this is this is the Z camera. Uh, I'll show it to you in just a second. But I've got the green screen stage, and it's inside a game software program. And so the, game, the actual game level, we're going to put that on in our background. So this is what we're seeing in the background, and it is a 3D game, so you are able to. To move around in that in that space. Okay, um, um, actually, I can't really do it right now because it's, it's locked down to the camera. But okay, and so so let's go back and show you what what we have here. Okay, I've got the uh, the green screen stage. So over here, we come and here is my Z Mini camera. I've just attached it to a very small, you know, it's a small Z Mini camera. It runs through USB cable out out to the computer, um, and I've attached it to a small HDMI monitor, so, so the monitor can, can see what I'm seeing on the on the screen back there. And just notice that this is really not a good lighting at all. There's lots of uneven lighting and stuff in here. And so the image is not going to be the greatest, but so I'm going to work on that next. But right now, okay, here we go. I'm going to show you what happens when we mix the two together. So I'm going to go here into the mix now. Um, so okay, let's see, final. Okay, there we go. So, so, so far, so good. It looks like a regular old, um, a regular image, a, a regular um, a green screen, okay? But it's synced to the camera. So here, let's see what this does. So I'm gonna come over now. I'm gonna move the camera around. And notice how, for the most part, it stays pretty tight. So I'm inside my green screen environment, the chair is real. Um, okay, and there's some crates there. But notice how behind the crates, uh, you can see that the, the because there's depth in, in the scene. Okay, so I'm going to come into the scene. Here I am. Okay, here I am. And on this side, it's fine. There's nothing back there. But notice that we've got these digital crates. And so if I reach out to my digital crates. Um, you can see that some of these things are actually behind. See, like right now, my, my, my hand is behind the digital crate, and there's no compositing that needs to be done after the fact. The camera senses the depth and follows it, okay? Like I said, I gotta clean up the green screen, obviously. Um, and so, uh, let, let's see what happens here. I'm going to actually uh, show this camera, the set, okay, so there we go. And so if I come with my Z camera and move it around. You know, you can't see what's happening uh, right now, uh, but that's how I'm shooting this. There's no nothing involved there. So let me show you what's happening on the screen. And actually, we're going to try doing both of these together. Okay, so here we go. I've got my Z camera here, and we're going to see. Notice how the scene tracks right there with it. And the background tends to move pretty closely to it. And my goal is to eventually have a full green screen enclosure. So I'll have it all the way around. And you'll be able to see this here. Okay, so let me show you on the monitor here. It's got to be a better way to do this. Um, eventually I'll have output. It might be nice to have multiple cameras, but it's not that expensive, okay? So notice how I can follow right around the chair, and it's like I'm really in that environment, seeing right through the back of the chair into the background. You know, you get a little too close because it's, it is building that mesh, so you don't want to get too close. Um, there you go. And if I look off to the sides, So we're in that 3D world, you know, 
You obviously would have to pick here for which items you want to be real and which ones um, to be 3D. But here I am again. Okay. Doing the selfie here at the old corral. Okay, and obviously there's some keen going on issues, a little too close. Um, but okay, so that was it. I really wanted to show you. We're starting to make some progress on this. I gotta improve the lighting, obviously. Fine tune the, the uh, what's going on with that uh, controller. But here I am, back at the camera, back at the. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, there you are. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.